Hello, and welcome to a quick Ops mini guide video for Star Wars The Old Republic. My name is Merlin, and I made this video to explain the mechanics for the Stair Boss in the Duxin Nature of Progress operation. The Stair Boss is a pretty cool encounter in Duxin that many players love, and I wanted to share a cool trick that will let you outrace most players to the top. The Duxin Nature of Progress operation is available at level 75 on Onderon, which you can reach if you have access to the 6.0 Onslaught expansion. Nature of Progress is a really fun operation that has four boss fights, two ad rush boss fights, and a couple other fun encounters, including the dreaded stair boss. Well over halfway through the operation, the players find themselves needing to traverse the research facility. A tram is available, but not initially working. Since they can't take the tram, the players instead must climb a seemingly unending set of stairs to reach the roof and cross over to the adjacent facility. Unfortunately, there are so many stairs that it's difficult to reach the top without becoming unbearably tired. The stair boss normally involves players running up the stairs as fast as they can to reach the top before they get too many stacks of the tired debuff. Each stack of tired slows your movement speed by 1% per stack, and you gain stacks basically every second that you're moving. If you reach 99 stacks, then your movement speed's 1% and you're basically not moving at all. However, if you stop moving, you will gradually drop stacks of tired as you rest up and can then continue up the stairs. So as you can see, in one example, we made it up the stairs at pretty high stacks, but we didn't get stuck. That was using force speed and rocket boots and a couple of other passive skills and utilities that let me boost my movement speed. You can see here in another example where I do not have any of those benefits and the angles I take going around the corners aren't quite as sharp and I actually get stuck before I reach the top and have to stop and wait. Plus it just takes me longer because I'm getting all those stacks of tired. There is a cool trick that can let you basically skip the tired mechanic, at least for this encounter, since you will see tired again on the last boss in the operation. The trick is that you only run in little spurts by holding down your movement key for about a second, let go of the key for a brief moment, and then press it down again and keep moving. You repeat this cycle, and if you time it right, you can keep moving almost constantly and avoid getting any stacks of tired. The stair boss encounter specifically involves two buffs that are applied to the player while in the stairwell. When you're moving, you get the red buff called climbing stairs without air conditioning that rapidly adds stacks of tired as you move. This kind of makes sense because in an enclosed space, running around, going upstairs would, would tend to make you pretty tired. If you stop moving, you get the green buff called catching breath and you drop stacks over time as you rest up from climbing all those stairs. The important thing to know is that you can only have one of those two buffs at a time. So as you're moving, you get the red buff, and if you stop moving, the red buff is removed, and you get the green one. And then when you stop moving again, you lose the green one and get the red one back. The real key here is that the red climbing stairs buff um, has a timer. And so as it's applied, uh, you have to go a couple of seconds before it actually starts ticking. And so each time we stop moving, we actually remove it. And then when we start moving again, we reapply it and we start the timer over again, which is why every time we stop moving and we stop and start, we basically reset this timer. And by doing that over and over again, as we go up the stairs, we never get any stacks of tired, which is pretty cool. Thanks so much. I hope you found this little mini guide helpful. Uh, I know a number of players, and especially in my guild, we've done a number of different events actually involving the stairwell, including a bunch of different funny races. We even had an event where we had an RP walk race to see who could get to the top first. So anyway, I hope this is helpful, and make sure the next time you have a race up the stair boss in Duxon, you can be the winner. Thanks so much, and have a good one.